Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can organize and arrange your footage in Adobe Premiere Pro in the Project Media Bin. So as you saw in a previous video, we can just drag clips directly into this bin, and you'll see them appear for us to begin working with. However, there's a few different views and ways that you can organize it. So you have your list view, which shows you the name of everything and the type of clip it is, whether it's an audio or a video with audio track or just a video file. But you also have the icon view where you can see the actual icon. It's very easy. And in recent updates, Adobe has also launched the freeform view, which is a very easy and fluid way to arrange things. So in the freeform view, you can see icons just like in the icon view. And I can also make things bigger and adjust the size of these icons. Now the cool part about this freeform view is I can click and drag things out and they don't necessarily have to lock to a grid. I can separate all the clips from this day over here into kind of a stack. And I can separate all of these clips from another day into their own stack. So it's a kind of a more intuitive way to create different sections in this palette that you have here. Now remember, if I ever click and drag a clip out into the timeline, it will automatically create a new sequence. And that's what you see here. And this is our sequence. It just happens to take on the name and the thumbnail of the original clip. But you can see if I continue to add clips on there that this sequence actually has more to it than just the one clip. If you ever double click on a clip in your project media bin, it'll open up the source window, which allows you to play through that clip and see what it is. And you can play through different clips just in case the thumbnail is a bit vague. And you can always right click and rename or label things in different colors for more organization. Now you also have the ability to hold graphics or different types of documents. So here we have an audio track, which I can drag on. Here we have a .ai logo graphic that I can drag on. So you can see how you can arrange multiple clips in a fluid way versus something like the list view or icon view, which can also be useful in their own way to search or sort through clips by different pieces of information. Another thing you can do to organize, if I highlight multiple clips at once, I can right click and create a new bin from the selection. So this is like creating a new folder, very much similar to desktop apps and icons. And I can name this bin whatever I want. So like NYC, and I can do this new bin from selection, and I can name this bin Tokyo. So you can really get flexible creating your own workstation with your own little folders and things to work with as you drag and build onto your sequences and create your edits. In the next episode of this series, I'm going to show you around how to use the timeline panel and all of the different layers and tools and icons that are available here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.